Here begins our loop. Dunor to Bonneville Pass. Dunor Special Management Area. In August of 2022, we loaded up the 4Runner and made the 8-hour drive down to the Teton Wilderness just outside of the Grand Teton National Park. We had plans to do about a 50-mile loop, heading up to the Continental Divide, following it for quite a while, and then looping back around to the car. Little did we know, the trip wasn't going to go exactly to plan. Headed up into Bonneville Pass. Doing the off-trail climb up the side of Bonneville Pass. Working up to the Continental Divide. And they are calling for thunderstorms. And I think we'll get them. No oh, hey there, brother, don't you know the road? Yes, my brother, I know. Oh, hey there, brother, don't you know the road? Yes, my brother, I know. There was no good, and there was all alone. Yes, my brother, I know. And a big black dog. And the fiddle spoke in a mournful way Yes, my brother, I know So I broke that fiddle with my hands Yes, my brother, I know And the fiddler said, hey now, hey now Yes, my brother, I know Though not all the tunes I play The storms passed over It was our first time in the Absorca Mountains, and I wanted to explore the high alpine plateaus that lent themselves well to off-trail travel. It would be at or around 10,000 feet for much of the first half of the trip, and with it being late summer, thunderstorms would play a prominent role. And the rain. On the first day, we had to find cover and hunker down as two different storms passed over. Oh, fiddler, fiddler, take up your ball. The Teton Wilderness is Wyoming's second largest wilderness area. It straddles the Continental Divide deep in the heart of Wyoming's Yellowstone ecosystem. It's bordered on the north by Yellowstone National Park, on the east by the Waishiki Wilderness, on the west by Grand Teton National Park, and on the south by Mount Lighty Highlands in the Grovant Wilderness. To the west of the Great Divide, the land is dominated by timbered ridges, grassy slopes, and broad willow and sedge meadows with elevations from 7,000 to 9,500 feet. To the east of the Great Divide are high alpine plateaus, broken by ridges and extensive mountain meadows with elevations from 8,000 to over 12,000 feet. Just a little
This is the morning scene. All of our stuff dragged out of the tent because the tent is completely saturated with condensation and it rained quite a bit last night. So, getting ready to rock here. That's where we came from yesterday. And we gotta climb up that bridge today. Are you excited? You ready to go hiking? Cause all Let's go. friends, we were born survivors. In every time I close my eyes, I'm dreaming about tomorrow. You know, some things will never change. I think about it when I pray for rain. The rain turned to hell, cold, dark, and pale. It beat me as I fell, Lord, I fell. This is the trail experience up here. There will be nothing at all. And then to the trained eye, the trail will appear. And then soon enough, there will be nothing at all again. On the first day, we really only made half the mileage we'd planned. We'd have to see how far we could get today to see what would be possible for the rest of this trip.
Pain finally abated, and now we're trying to get up to this lake so we can get some water finally. We started day three up on the Continental Divide and made the call to reroute our trip given our progress over the last couple of days. We dropped down into one of the unnamed drainages coming off the plateau and bushwhacked till we could link up with an old trail that was on the map. And just like that, all the beta I had researched and planning I'd done for the next 30 miles was now replaced with an unknown route. We weren't sure what we'd find after dropping a few thousand feet down to the valley bottom below, but that's the fun of having everything you need on your back. You feel free to take any path. of the trail today. South Fork Buffalo. It's up there is the Buffalo Plateau. The water's flowing off of.
beach on the trail sign. No trails in sight Bathhouse. It's not a bad spot. Typical evening at camp. Here, find the water, feeding the dog, getting our dinner set up. 200 feet. Just like that, we were on our last day of the trip. The last few hours of soaking up this place. It doesn't happen often that we have the time to take longer trips like this. And that rarity, coupled with the rugged beauty of the landscape, made it even harder to leave. The whole place is dark. Every light on this side of the town Suddenly it all went down Now we'll all be brothers of The fossil fire of the sun Now we will the trail for the last couple miles. Just 
down trees. There is a trail. The train guy can see it. But that's what we're working with. to be a secret out of the past I will resurrect it I'll have a good go at it I'll streak his blood across my feet dust my feathers with his ass Now we just linked up to the CDT. We expect that means the trail will actually be maintained slash the trail will actually exist. Upper Brooks Lake, Teton Wilderness sign, no one gets it right. and Wilderness Boundary, CDT. Real truth about it is. Yeah, don't ride your snowmobiles. Wow, that is a beautiful We're view. Walking on the road to complete the loop. Get back to the car. To see the car. It's shiny thing out in the distance. Otherwise known as salvation. But not forever. Real truth about it. Another good one in the books. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know I'm looking forward to getting back out into these mountains again. I'll see you out there.